Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this Valentine's Day makeup look. Um, I did a look kind of similar to this last year, but a little bit more bright, and this one's a little bit more smoky eyed, um, but still with a bright pink lip. And um, everyone last year seemed to love that Valentine's Day video, so I decided to do it again. Hope you all have an amazing Valentine's Day, and if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look, please keep watching. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is prime my face. I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime. Okay, next I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. This one is in the shade 103 Natural Buff. Um, I do have a little bit of self tanner on, so this one is like for when I have a light self tanner. Um, and then I use my It Cosmetics CC Cream mixed with a little bit of this um, just on a day to day basis when I have like no tan on. Okay, next I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, and this one is in the shade Y23. I'm going to do a little bit of baking with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I just got this a couple weeks ago, and I have been absolutely loving it. it totally lives up to the hype, so I'm going to use my beauty sponge and just kind of bake underneath and then move on to the eyes. Okay, I decided to skip the eyeshadow primer today. It's just kind of snowy outside, and I don't know. I feel like I don't really need it today. So I'm going to start, or I'm, for my entire look, I'm going to be using my Morphe palette. This is the 35F, um, and it's mostly shimmers with just a couple mattes at the bottom. So I'm just going to be doing a really simple look. First thing I'm going to do is take my Japanese brush. It um, doesn't really have a name. This is just the perfect like crease blending brush. And I'm going to be taking this orangey kind of shade and putting that through all my crease. Next, to deepen it up a little bit, I'm going to be using the second to last shade. It's like a reddish brown. And I'm just going to be using that on the outer corners of my eye. I know my bake looks like crazy right now, but it's also for fallout. Um, so I'm just going to be doing that on the outside corner in kind of a V shape, um, just to smoke it up a little bit. Next I'm going to be taking the black shade right down there. I'm just going to take the black in the outer corner just to smoke it up. Um, I don't use black that often, but I feel like this look goes for it. Now for the fun part, I'm going to be taking the, this like really pretty pink, kind of mix these two and just put it all throughout um, the center of my Okay, now I'm just going to wipe away that bacon and kind of clean up the lines. Now just on my inner corner, I'm going to be taking this lightest shade right here, and as well as under my brow bone. For under my lash line, I'm just going to be taking that same sparkly shade. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of the face. Next I'm going to do my brows. I just got this. This is the NYX Tame and Frame tinted brow pomade and I also bought the NYX um, eyebrow brush this is number 18 and it just has like the winged end and then the spool I love this stuff um, it's pretty heavy but I was just I wanted to switch out from my regular pencil Next, to hold all that in place, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. I love this stuff. On to the rest of the face, which is my favorite part. Next, I'm going to be using my Milani um, Bronzer. This is in the Soleil shade. Um, and I like this normally when I'm a little bit more tan. 
um, just because it can kind of come off orange if you're pale, but um, if you get a little bit of color, it looks a little bit better. Oh, I'm gonna be using this with my Tarte Big like bronzer brush. that up a bit i'm going to be using my soap and glory wonder bronze i also just got this it's so pretty kind of reminds me of one of the two face bronzers but it just has a lot more bronze running through it rather than the pink um if you know which one i'm talking about it's like a striped color thing that um that two face has um it's in that big book that i always use so i just run this along my forehead and then sort of like the top of my contour towards my cheek um, and it just kind of warms up a little bit. I love this. Next, I'm going to be taking another new product. This is the Pixie and Aspen Ovard uh, blush. This is in the shade Rome Rose. I'm not like the hugest fan of her, <laughs> um, but I really wanted to try some Pixie products and this was just so pretty, I couldn't deny it. So I did buy this, it's super gorgeous. I'm going to be taking my uh, Real Techniques blush brush or cheek brush. This color is just like a super pretty rosy pink color, especially for Valentine's Day. So that is so pretty and glowy. Next, for the Valentine's Day look, you have to pull in the pink on the face. So I'm going to be using two highlight products. I'm going to be using the NYX um, Sunbeam Liquid Illuminator. I'm going to put that at the tops of my cheekbones and like a little bit on the sides of my forehead and down my nose and on my cupid's bow. And then on top, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I love this stuff. This was the first highlight I ever bought. And it's just like so gorgeous. So I'm going to be using these like pinky highlights. The brush I'm going to be using is the um, Real Techniques Angled Highlighter Brush. Um, for the liquid product, I'm just going to use my finger first and blend it in with my Beauty Blender. This actually like pairs pretty well on top of powder, so I don't mind using this. Um, you know, afterwards when I usually apply highlight, I usually don't do that first. And next, I'm going to be doing my setting spray, and then I will do the lips and the mascara because I like doing that afterwards because so it doesn't like transfer everywhere. So the next product I'm going to be using is the Pixie Skin Treats Vitamin Wake Up Mist. This isn't like necessarily a setting spray, but it just like it sets everything. It doesn't make everything last longer, I wouldn't say, but it just makes everything look less powdery and like more glowy and pretty. So I love this. I just got this as well. The nozzle isn't as good as my Mario Badescu rose water spray, but it smells really, really good. It just makes your skin look pretty. Okay, hey, next I'm going to be curling my lashes, and I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes Mascara. lips so it wouldn't be a Valentine's Day tutorial without a bright pink lip so I'm gonna be using for lip liner the next lip liner in the shade dolly pink it's like this bright pink and then on top I'm gonna be using the makeup forever um, artist plexi gloss in the shade 209 so it's like a really bright pretty pink it for this quick little tutorial on my valentine's day makeup i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video